Hey VC, I hope you had a good weekend. As promised, I am back to show you my haul from the weekend. First of all, I want to say thank you to DJ Legion. He kind of promoted my channel on Friday, so I got a huge boost in subscribers from the weekend. Just wanted to say thank you to him and thank you to all of you guys for subscribing. All right, let's just get into what I got from the weekend. I had a very good weekend, and I would say this is probably my first actual haul video or one that I'm very proud of. As you know, I'm new to collecting vinyl, so this is a really good start, I think, to um, building my collection even more. So the first one I got, this is a band that um, Rob over at Vinyl 79 kind of recommended to me or said that I should check out. He sent me some song clips or um, songs on YouTube that I should check out. And I was like, I really like these guys. So I actually found one of their albums on vinyl over the weekend. And that's Martha and the Muffins. This is Trance and Dance. I believe this is their second album. This is um, a 70s, 80s band. They're kind of new wave pop-ish. I really like the female singer. Um, it's just kind of a fun record. I think it's their second album, um, and they're Canadian, so that's kind of cool. And it's I'm a, I'm very new to this band, so I was happy to find this for uh, six bucks. So thank you, Rob. All right, the next one I already have this on CD, but I was ecstatic to find it on vinyl, and it's the Bongos. And see, I already had the CD, but this is Drums Along the Hudson. And this is actually a compilation of like their early singles and their first EP. But they were just like a quirky 80s power pop band. Uh, Richard Barone on the vocals. Just good stuff. I really like them. Alright, next we've got... Um, some of you may laugh at this, but this is Asia's first album. Is it self-titled? I think it's self-titled. Yeah, I mean, this is in good shape. I've liked this for a while. It's the one with Heat of the Moment. Only time will tell. So, it's just a classic 80s album. I thought I'd pick it up. I've seen a lot of copies of this, but most of the copies I've seen of this have been in bad shape. But this one's in really good shape, and that's why I picked it up. Alright, the next one is another 80s artist. Eddie Money, Can't Hold Back. I picked this one up because my favorite song or my favorite single from him is I Want to Go Back and that's on here. Also Take Me Home Tonight is on this one and this came out in 86. Alright, next. Um, Sound of Music. Can't go wrong really. And uh, someone kind of nudged me to get this. I wasn't going to get it at first but we both really enjoy this. So. <laughs> so the next one is my first Depeche Mode purchase on vinyl. It's a single, but it's still awesome to have this. And it's the World in My Eyes single. But very nice. Uh, it also has Happiest Girl and Sea of Sin. I have all their stuff on CD, you guys, but I'll be looking for their stuff on vinyl for sure. Alright, next we've got... I was kind of excited to find this because... In the 90s, VH1 put out um, a made-for-TV movie about this band. It's Sweetwater. I got this for 10 bucks. It looked like it hadn't been played before, but this was a psychedelic 60s group. I mean, you can tell. Look at what they're wearing. It's awesome. Nancy Nevins is the lead singer. She's a really good singer. Um, they, it's kind of a sad story with her because after this was released, I think a year after, she got in a really bad car accident and her vocal cords were damaged so she didn't really she wasn't really able to return to the band in full form so um, this is a really good album my motherless child's on here what's wrong why oh why in a rainbow just great psychedelic tunes all right next is a new well, it's pretty new. Um, this came out in 2014, and this is actually my first album that I purchased from her. Brian over at Shamrockin' Records has talked about her on his channel before. She's an alt-country artist. She has amazing pipes on her. This is Lydia Loveless. And this is her third album. It's called Somewhere Else. 
This is so good, you guys. Ooh, I've listened to this a couple times. I'm gonna try to do a needle drop for you here in a minute. But yeah, she's like seven years younger than me and she has four or five albums out. Um, great alt country singer, singer songwriter. Um, she even has like a documentary on her already. I just feel kind of like a loser when I find out all these young artists are doing all this work and I feel like I haven't done much of anything. But yeah, she comes from a very musical family, just a great talent. So I will try to play you some of her stuff here right now. Next is an album I've seen so many people on the vinyl community have, or they've kind of had it in their background, um, and it's Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield. This is only $5, so I was like, you know, I'll just uh, give it a listen. I did recognize some of it. I guess some of it's been featured in The Exorcist. Um, I was reading up on this and apparently Mike Oldfield was only 19 when this was released and he played most of the instruments on it. Just pretty neat stuff. Alright, next this is another one I already have on CD, I'm very familiar with the band. Pretenders. This is just a classic, I love this album. I was lucky enough to see them in December of 2016, they opened up for Stevie Nicks. That was a great concert. Uh, they still sounded awesome. Chrissy Hine, one of my favorite singers. So that's an awesome one to have. Next is an artist. I kind of bought this for sentimental reasons, but I grew up listening to John Hyatt. My parents were big into his stuff. And this is the Slow Turning album. This is from, what, 1988? Sorry for the glare. Um, but I picked this up. This is, obviously, this is my first on vinyl from him, but I've Growing up, we listened to Walk On, Perfectly Good Guitar, uh, Riding With The King, so I'm pretty familiar with John Hyatt's stuff, but I had never heard this album. This is a great kind of Americana type album. He's a great singer, great guitarist, great songwriter, just a very versatile artist. He mixes a lot of genres in his music, so I was um, kind of excited to find that for $5.99. All right, we're down to the last two, it looks like. So this one, um, I had heard, I think it's their second album that I heard, Gas Food Lodging. This is Green on Red. This is their first album. What's it called? Gravity Talks. Ooh, I found this for $4, you guys, and I was looking on Amazon. I think the cheapest it's going for is like $20. Uh, this is so good. I listened to it, I think on Saturday, after I bought it. It's, um, they were part of like that Paisley Underground jangle pop movement of the early 80s. This has kind of got some psychedelic touches on it. There's a lot of organ in this. I like the singer. Really good. Fantastic. All right, we're down to my last one. This album sounds so amazing on vinyl. I can't even describe how good this sounds, but this is one of the essential power pop bands from the 70s, and it's the Raspberries. And this is just like a best of compilation. Eric Carmen was awesome, you guys. Oh, I just, I can't describe how good this sounds on vinyl. I'm actually gonna be inheriting some uh, Raspberries early releases 
from a family member, I think, coming up in the next month. So I'm super excited for that. Of course, this one has Go All The Way, Tonight, I Want To Be With You. Just, oh, this whole compilation is badass. I love the raspberries. So this is actually my favorite <laughs> out of what I've gotten so far, just because how good and crunchy guitars. Ooh, it sounds so good on vinyl, you guys. All right, did I go through everything? I think I did. So that's my haul from the weekend. I'm super excited. This vinyl world just has drawn me in, you guys, and I'm hooked. So I think I spent about $90 for all those, which isn't too bad. Um, I'll probably do another haul in the next few weeks, but I kind of have to space this out a little money-wise. So it's really fun, and um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.